This video highlights some of the new and updated features of Brightspace Learning Environment 10.6.9. D2L recommends using a supported browser for an optimal experience when using the Brightspace platform. The Brightspace platform no longer supports Apple Safari 6, 7, and 8, and Microsoft Internet Explorer 10 web browsers. The system navbar has been updated to Brightspace Help and now directs users to the new Brightspace Help website. For clients that currently have the help link in their navbar, the Lang term is now Brightspace Help. If you would like to make Brightspace Help available on your navbar, use Navigation and Themes from the Admin Tools menu to add it as a link. Click Brightspace Help. To navigate to the new Brightspace Help website, Brightspace Help contains continuous delivery help resources for the suite of Brightspace products, microservices in the Brightspace cloud, integrations, customizations, and semester start resources. Improvements have been made that simplify the management of group discussion topics. This feature implements PI items D113, D185, D386, D511, and D3362. The new topic workflow has been updated. When groups are enabled and have been created in a course, the Topic Type section is now available on the Properties tab when creating a new discussion topic. The Topic Type defaults to Open Topic. Everyone can access this topic and its contents. Administrators and instructors can select the new option group or section topic. Everyone can access this topic, but students only see threads from their own group or section. Further specify the option by selecting a group or section category. If you select the open topic type, click the restrictions tab to access the original group restrictions area. The new group category workflow has been updated. When creating a new group category with discussion areas, you can now specify how the discussion area will be set up. Select Create One Topic Per Group to create a group in the original way. Select Create One Topic with Threads separated by Group to create the new discussion thread view. The workflow for creating, reading, and participating in group discussions has been updated. From Discussions, click a topic. Now, one discussion topic is created for an entire group, and posts within it are associated with specific groups. Instructors can use the new All Groups filter to view all posts or to only view posts for a specific group. Inside a discussion thread, users can see which group the thread belongs to. Only one grade item is required when assessing group discussion topics. This makes assessing discussion topics faster for instructors. Now, when copying groups to a new course, the group setup, including grade item, assessment options, etc., is also copied. When viewing a discussion topic, the properties are now listed together following the topic's name. The availability and locking information along with other details set by the instructor are now listed together following the topic's name. Additionally, the filtering options are now displayed in a filter by drop-down list preceding the individual posts. To allow sorting by unread, flagged, and unapproved posts. Instructors can now automatically release final grades to learners so that they don't have to manually release them as learners enroll in a course. This feature implements PI item D173. Upon release, D2L.tools.grades 
dot final grade dot auto release final grade is set to off for the organization and final grades do not release automatically. Turn on this configuration variable so new final grades in all new courses release automatically unless an instructor turns off this option in their course. To enable this option for a course, from step 2 of the Grade Setup Wizard, select the Automatically Release Final Grade option. Alternately, in Grade Settings, click the Calculation Options tab. and select the Automatically Release Final Grade option from the Final Grade Release section. The Quizzes tool has been improved so that the workflow for creating and editing long answer questions has a modernized look and feel and responsive layout. Click Leave It On to opt in to create or Edit true or false questions using the new create slash edit true or false questions user interface. Click turn it off to return to the original user interface. On the question creation page, a drop down menu now gives users the ability to select the type of question they want to create. There is no change in the workflow related to creating and editing long answer questions.